and talking about that, these street takeovers have really intensified that already complex situation about talks between the city and the police department's labor contract. Fox 7 Austin Shannon Ryan live in East Austin near police headquarters with that part of the story. Shannon. Yeah, Mike, well, the police union and other advocates say this really highlights a public safety issue within the city, whereas police reform advocates that we spoke with say these groups are merely trying to capitalize on these events in the midst of contentious contract negotiations. Four weekend streetcar takeovers in Austin, including the city's iconic and eclectic Barton Springs have now taken over discussion on police labor contract negotiations. Do we need to get used to this, Ken? Do we need to just get used to this? Is this the kind of power that uh, some of the city council has given groups in our community? I mean, is this, is this going to be normal? I believe, you know, they've, they've given the city over to the Austin Justice Coalition, and yeah. this is kind of what you, this is what you get. The Austin Police Association writing on Twitter that Austin policymakers are directly responsible for the overall safety of their citizens and visitors, adding, looks like they failed to make the right decisions and continue to defund, destroy, and demoralize public safety. Mayor Kirk Watson putting out a statement Monday calling the police association's tweet false, saying they wrongly conflated the incident with important community conversations about safety and oversight, adding that no Austinite should ever accept the false choice between public safety and responsible policing, and welcoming the police association back to the negotiating table to discuss the one-year contract the city is offering them. The wording a message itself, as the police association is calling for an immediate four-year contract. The Austin Police Association wants to blame the city for anything that happens, while in fact they are the ones who walked away, ignored an offer for a great deal in order to not face the voters in May and not accept stronger police oversight. Cleet, the largest police union in the state, also jumped on board. They were on a call today with the Austin Police Association in a statement. They wrote in part, and I am quoting here, the incident that occurred on Saturday is a direct result of the Austin City Council's disrespect and bad faith attempt at establishing a path forward for public safety in Austin, Texas. They also criticized the fact that officers have been discouraged from using force in large gatherings like this. Live in East Austin, Shannon Ryan, sending it back to you in the studio.